Alright, so a couple of you guys might remember a video from a while back trying to guess Zoink's secret top 1 verification. It ended up being a pretty popular video and it was also pretty well made, but it turned out that it didn't even include Tidal Wave as a guess in that video. So I kind of wanted to make this video to, uh, I guess, make up for that one and try to actually guess what top 1 verification will happen this time. For more context, Thunder, a top 4 player behind only Zoink, Trick, and Popoff, recently announced that he was going to have a secret verification. He later clarified that this level is top 1 and he already has tens of thousands of attempts. Given that he says this verification is top 1 by far, I want to try to guess what it is beforehand, um, just for fun. Not really for a specific reason, I guess. I, I just kind of want to guess it. I think that'd be cool. Either way, to achieve that, I'll have to go pretty in-depth, so I apologize if this video runs a little bit long. I'll order the levels in order from most to least likely to be as verification, so if there's a point in the video you feel like I'm just making dumb guesses, you won't have missed anything hugely important. With that said, the one last thing before we get into the list is that this list assumes Thunder's verification is a level that is already showcased or clearly is close to doing so. I would have to name like 50 more levels if that wasn't the case, so if his verification falls into that territory of either not being finished or just completely being a secret level, I'm kinda cooked. Either way, with that out of the way, our first level is Silent Acropolis. Oh wait, never mind. Uh, actually, Cervax picked it up and made no announcement about it anywhere besides YouTube, so I didn't learn about that for a while, and I had already written a part in the script about it. Either way, uh, I'm pretty sure we can be sure that Thunder's not verifying it anymore. <laughs> anyway, moving on. It means everything is a 1.7 theme top one with an awesome song and a really interesting decoration and gameplay. Uh, after making some pretty good progress on it, Vel, the creator, dropped the level and made it an open verification. This level is the second most likely verification, or pretty much now the most likely verification, because the chance of it being top 1 is pretty much guaranteed given how hard it is, and Thunder would pretty much be able to pick it up without any barriers to entry because it's open verification. So this would definitely be a likely project for him to verify since he can just go ahead and verify it. The next level we have is Terran. So this level recently got finished, and something that caught my eye is that Ion Studio never announced a verifier for the level. Uh, this could be that they simply just didn't have one or didn't intend the level to be verified, but the other possibility is that they deliberately kept it a secret. This would be a pretty cool level for Thunder to verify, even though GD Twitter would probably have a mental breakdown over another Helltop one. Either way, I do think Terran is a cool level and I'd like to see it verified. Moving on, we have Sweeping Demon 2. So the main reason I don't think this verification is very likely is because it wouldn't be much of a secret. Thunder has already announced his verification of this level and hasn't made any real interesting progress on it, so so it'd be weird in my opinion for his secret verification just to be an announcement that he's grinding this level again. Literally the top comment on his announcement video says Sweeping Demon 2, so while it's a possibility, it definitely wouldn't really be a surprise to anyone. Moving on we have Angla's side. So I was kind of hesitant about including this level since Yuko has stated multiple times that this level is probably impossible, but people have gone runs on it before, so generally I think the chance of Thunder going for this is pretty low, but it is a completed level and it's open verification, which isn't something every level on this list can say, so there's a decent chance of it. Moving on we have the Devil. The Devil is another pretty much impossible level hat toss, but the reason it's below Anglicide is because there's more debate about its difficulty. Some say that it's the hardest top 1, while actual players say that it was top 3 2 years ago. While I'd love to see this verified, I don't really see Thunder playing it because Again, it might not be top 1, and also it's just kind of an obscure level, but please someone verify this level, bro, it's so cool. Moving on, we have Exasperation. Uh, in the case of Exasperation, last we saw it, it was decently close to completion, but because of the backlash, Thicket and Nacho might have looked to redesign the level, which would definitely delay it a lot more. I do think this level is probably around Tidal Wave difficulty, given the best progress on it is Watch Piggy having the level in 11 runs. Even though that seems pretty stark, Keep in mind, he's probably nowhere close to Thunder and other top players in terms of skill, so I think Thunder could definitely be capable of going for this level, if not verifying it. Moving on, we have Galaxy Collapse. This is another level that has kinda gone radio silent, but even though Serjako is reportedly not hosting the level anymore, which is honestly a huge loss because they have an actual decent reputation for finishing levels, so not hosting it anymore is definitely a punch in the gut for anybody working on the project. But the others that were helping out with it are assumedly still working on it, so a level with 6 years of work poured into it has got to at least be somewhere close to completion. Hopefully. In any case, there's low chance that this is the secret verification for a lot of different factors, but I want to consider all the possible options and this could be it, honestly. 
Moving on, we have Starfall. So I mainly included this level because of two reasons. The first is that after two years of silence from the level, pretty much, a new part was showcased very recently. And the other reason is that it's a relatively short level that definitely could be finished off screen if the creator wanted to have it finished. Personally, I'd love to see this verified because it uses one of my favorite songs, but I do doubt that this is actually the verification since it doesn't look like a super fun level to play. Moving on, we have Ton 618. Ton 618 is pretty much thrown in here for the same reasons as Starfall. Despite the fact that it hasn't really had any noticeable progress over the last year, it's still a very promising and more importantly, short level, which again means it could have been just finished in the shadows. Heliopolis was originally a level I thought should go around Silent Acropolis in terms of probabilities since it's a very rate worthy level and also what happened when Jif got kicked. If you don't know, after Jif was kicked from the verification, it was announced that a new verifier was chosen but they were never revealed. I think logically they would only keep a verifier secret if they were a promising verifier, like Thunder for instance, being the top player that he is. The only problem with this is that Minecap never really intended for Heliopolis to be top 1. With most of the difficulty guesses ranging from 2 to 5, this kinda made me lose hope on Heliopolis, but there is still a chance. Moving on we have Aztec. Aztec is a level I and a lot of others don't really want to see released because it just kinda just rips off Vivisect, which I think isn't really fair to the original creators. But that doesn't really change the fact that somebody could still verify it. I doubt Thunder would go for this, but it is finished and people have tried to get runs on it, so it's not out of the question, but it's also not really in the question. Moving on, we have Yggdrasil. I hope I pronounced that right. Wait, what is this word, bro? Anyway, this is definitely another kind of random guess, but from what I can see, Yggdrasil is maybe close to being finished. Honestly, I have no idea. <laughs> it would definitely make a cool top one, and I can see Thunder going for it, but yeah, it's it's unlikely. Like, this level's taken a, a, a while to, 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 to get finished. Moving on, we have Rest in Peace, which is uh, the coolest level in the game. Please go watch it. This level is probably the least likely on this list because it was just never supposed to be anywhere close to top 1. Last time I checked it was projected for top 10 difficulty, but I can't find that information again, so I don't really know. Either way, Rest in Peace is an amazing level and it's one of my favorite top 10s of all time. Um, I honestly don't know if this is even being verified anymore, but if it is, please show some support to Starkey and Nepesta, who I think was supposed to be verifying it, I don't even know anymore. Again, like. This level's so up in the air, probably the most up in the air level of all time. But please, please, please show some su support to Starkey. I did hear that Nepesta recently beat another Starkey level called LD50, and he's making a video about it. You know Nepesta videos are kind of rare, so for him to like a Starkey level that much that he uploaded a video about it, or I guess will upload a video about it, you know it's good shit, bro. Go watch it. Next, I'm just going to lump the three Akuna Kun levels together. So Akunakun has made three levels that are projected for the top 10 that all don't have active verifiers. First up is how confusing is the level. I'd say this one's probably the most likely of the three because it's basically an impossible level so there's not really a doubt that it's top one. The problem is that all three of them don't really have great chances of getting rated despite having cool concepts. The other two levels, Bugawamba and Based After Based, are both pretty cool and deserve rates, but the verifiers pretty much just ghosted the levels and never made any progress. Since Akunakun is notoriously bad at projecting difficulty, any of these levels could be top 1. It's just that I doubt Thunder would be willing to verify any of them without a guaranteed rate. Like, if you were verifying a top 1, you'd want to make sure it got rated. Moving on, we have Memorized. Memorized is another unfinished level that did get a lot of progress recently. It's a 10 minute long, self-proclaimed, most unique memory level that has a lot of cool stuff in it, and also a lot of kind of meh stuff in it. But in general, I do think it is a great level. Being 10 minutes long, I don't think it would be hard to buff this to top 1, even if it is meant to be a top 10. Either way, this would be a pretty cool verification choice from Thunder, and I'd be excited to see this uh, kind of come into the limelight. Moving on, we have Eternal Knight. As far as I know, Swyborg is technically still the verifier for this level, but that's because the creators of it have basically made no progress with it whatsoever. Like, he's gotten to the point where he's actively telling people to stop asking him about the level because he just like there's no level to beat he, the, the creators are just not working on it even so a lot of people still seem to have access to the old eternal knight like nick xd so it's not out of the question that thunder could try to verify the original version but it's definitely unlikely moving on we have the human limit this is a level that i hope thunder doesn't verify because it's just kind of lame in every possible way it could be 
I guess the decoration is pretty cool in some parts, but like, come on, bro. It's basically just a top one themed level. It was also passed to Cherry Team, which means it basically fulfills the two axioms of being a level that GD Twitter hates. Either way, this is at the bottom of the list because there's almost no way Thunder will verify it with the reputation that it has. But again, it's it, there's always a chance. Moving on, the last level we have is ZUD. ZUD came out recently and was showcased on a bunch of different channels. And it's, uh, um, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, it's definitely a level. And that level is supposed to be top one, so... <laughs> I'm including it here, but there's like a zero chance that Thunder will go for it, um, and th that is why it's also the last level on this list. Hurrah. Uh, anyway, that concludes the list. I really do hope that I at least covered his top one verification in this list, because I kind of overcompensated just a tiny bit. But what would be cooler is if that verification was in my first 10 guesses. That, that, that would be pretty neat. Either way, thanks guys for tuning in. Being able to actually make videos that more than 10 people will watch is genuinely a dream come true. So I'm extremely thankful to everyone involved.